are good. Okay, so we're going to be going through every single item change. I'm going to go through all the items. I'm going to show you what the difference is between these shadow and radiant items, what everything's going, what's happening. You can see Twitch chat is above me. Twitch chat, be nice to YouTube. YouTube, reply in the comments and be nice to Twitch chat. Say hi to Twitch chat in the YouTube comments as well. Um, don't say goodbye, YouTube. That's not a good start. Anyway, so item changes and new items and everything. So let me just give a a basic rundown on what Riot are doing with these shadow and radiant items. So this is very similar. If you played Teamfight Tactics a f like a year ago or a few years ago now, you would know what these shadow and radiant items do. Um, but for those who don't know, basically shadow items are going to be items that have some benefits to them. So they might be buffed a little bit. They might have some more bonuses. However, they are also going to have a negative effect as well, which I'll go into the items and I explain all the different items and what it is. Um, in terms of radiant items, these items are just purely buffed. They're purely buffed. They might cost a little bit more gold, but they just give a bunch more bonuses. So for some reason, they've decided to change these items. I don't know why they've decided to change these items and not all the items. Now, these do replace the standard items for them. So, for example, something like Ghostblade, for example. The standard version of Ghostblade, you cannot buy anymore. This is with normal games. This is with ranked. This is with everywhere else. Um, with Radiant items, you can now... Or Radiant and Shadow items, you can only buy this version of the item now. So... It's a bit interesting because there are some core items in here which some champions do need to buy, but now you're going to have to use these Radiant or Shadow item versions to be able to get into the game, basically. Hey, what's up, Under? Hello, hello. The worst TFT patch? Yeah. I, I have mixed opinions on this. I think that some might perform well, some might be completely useless. Um, but yeah, we're going to go through all the item changes. Um... Before we get into the Radiant and Shadow items, all these items above, so Nash's Tooth, Guardian Angel, Bloodthirster, etc., all these items are not changing. There are no changes to any items that are not Radiant or Shadow items. Um, that's basically what it is. But we're going to go through each individual one, and I've spent a lot of time on this, but I have a little pop-up next to it, so Twitch chat and also YouTube can see at the same time what the difference is between the previous version of the item, like Ghostblade, for example, and also the new version. Hey, I did it, chat. We did it. But this is going to happen for every single item. So Twitch ca chat can look at it. I can talk about it. And we can all discuss about it together. This is going to be a bit of a discussion video, discussion stream. Um, we're going to be like theory crafting together, everything like that. Um, so we'll be able to, you know, if any of you have any suggestions on maybe some champions that they, you know, these items might be good on. Or I'll give my own advice as well, of course. But... Let's get straight into it. Right, Ghostblade. So, Ghostblade right now in the meta is probably one of the best items for junglers as a first item rush. It was super cheap, 3,000 3, gold. It gave you a lot of attack damage. It gave you the base armor pen. I think every single bruiser or assassin in the jungle always goes Ghostblade first item. Now, they're increasing the gold from 3,000 up to 3,200. So, it's going to cost a little bit more now after you have the components to be able to get into you know, be able to buy the item, basically. So as you can see, the stats have not really changed. We've got 55 attack damage. We've got 15 ability haste, which is the same. We got slice, which is plus 15 armor pen as well. Now, the change really comes in with momentum. Now, remember, this is a light slash radiant item. So this item has no uh, downsides to it. It just has pure benefits. So momentum. Moving builds up momentum, granting up to 50 movement speed now instead of 40 movement speed. So movement speed has been buffed by 10. But also when you get, um, when you build up, when you're building up stacks, you also gain 5 to 10 armor pen at 100 stacks. So I think this is probably based on your level most likely. But you get extra armor pen on top of the armor pen that you already have from the slice passive. So you don't only just get movement speed now at 100 stacks, you now get armor pen as well at 100 stacks. So I think that's pretty good. It's gonna give you a lot more damage. 
And as you can see, obviously, the same thing applies. You know, attacking removes all the momentum. But the armor pen will last for three seconds afterwards. So when you're, you know, when you're jumping on an enemy champion, say you're playing Kane, say you're using this new light ghost blade, when normally when you attack a champion, you lose the movement speed because you're attacking, you're building up, you're building up the momentum by moving, you're attacking, and then you lose the movement speed. You will still lose the movement speed, but you'll keep that five to ten extra flat armor pen so you can get up to 25 armor pen now again in the early game is super super powerful um plus armor pen is a lot better than percent armor pen in the early game because not a lot of champions have a lot of armor pen uh, but as you can see you know the stacks are pretty much the same as well um you can see stacks decay when all movement speed is impaired and then you also have the same as well which is attacking with maximum momentum grants 25 attack speed for four seconds which is exactly the same so for an extra 200 gold we now get between 5 to 10 extra armor pen with Ghost Blade at 100 stacks, which you can gain stacks throughout the game without actually doing anything. You can just roam around the map. You can run around the map. You can move around. You can do whatever the hell you want, basically. Um, yeah. Is it worth the extra 200 gold? I don't really know. Uh, does any attack, does it mean any attack or basic attack? It's basically just a basic attack, just attacking. So when you auto attack a champion, when you, it's probably when you have like an auto attacking ability. Is it worth the extra 200 gold? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure if getting an extra 10 movement speed, which is quite nice, I guess, to be fair. So if you think of champions that love this, you know, Kha'Zix, Kane, just any assassins in general. They like the extra movement speed. They also like the extra 5 to 10 armor pen. I still think this will be a really, really good item. A really, really good first item. You know, to, like extra 200 gold, which is not too much that you have to wait for. 200 gold, extra 5 to 10 armor pen, extra bit of attack speed. But again, the big thing is, is that this extra 5 to 10 armor pen, you don't lose straight away when you lose your momentum stacks. It still stays, stays on for 3 seconds. So when you're jumping in with Kha'Zix your combo is still going to do a lot more damage because of the extra armor pen. Same with Kane, the same with Pike. That's a good one as well. Pike is also obviously another champion that loves uh, Ghost Blade. So yeah, really, really good item. Um, I think this Radiant item is going to be still the same as what it was before. I still think it's going to be kind of in the same meta and it's going to be the same sort of thing. Um, yeah, pretty awesome to be fair. Um, still first item worthy and everything like that. Another thing to note as well with these light and shadow items, you don't have to buy them you can buy them at any point during a game. You can buy them as a first item. You can buy them as a last item. You can buy them in the middle of the build. It's not like Mythics where you have to build these items first. You can build them at any point during the game, basically. Now on to our first Ruined item. Blade of the Ruined King. Now, these, this is one of the first items which we're going to see which has a negative side to it. However, it does still have a benefit to it as well. Uh, so Blade of Ruined King now you can see the gold value of what it is on the pbe at the top just above the picture where the picture is i'm just going to change it again so you can see so blade of Ring king now only costs 3000 gold instead of 3200 so oh you oh yeah true you didn't have to buy mythics as a first item but to be fair like the mythic thing in pc league you had to build it as a first item otherwise you were basically down on power spike because mythics were so broken and so disgusting anyway i'm so glad they removed that from pc league and also, I'm glad that they're, they're not adding that sort of thing into Wild Rift either. Um, but yeah, Blade Rune King, 2,000 less gold. So instead of 3,200, it's now 3,000. This is mainly the case for most of these ruined items because they have ne negative effects. Most of them have gone down in gold. So 3,000, what has changed? So attack damage stayed the same. Attack speed has changed the same. We get 2% extra physical vamp now from Blade Rune King, which is really, really nice. Uh, and then we have the Ruined Strikes Passive which, as you can see, now has an extra 1% uh, bonus damage, depending on the enemy's current health on hit. So now this item is going to do not so much, but a little bit more damage to the champions that are really, really tanky, really, really strong. Elia, by the way, how's it going? What's up? Um, yeah, a little bit more damage to tanks, which is quite cool. 7% um, instead of 6%, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, as you can see, the melee's, melee has also gone up as well from 9% uh, from nine up to 10%. Everything else has changed. But now the big thing is this new passive, Repentance. So you, for buying this item, you are going to reduce your base health by 60 to 150, which is quite a bit, to be honest with you. You know, you think of someone like Callista, for example. Callista is a champion that 
wants to buy this as a first item but if you're buying this as a first item you're losing 60 well probably a bit more than 60 base health in the early game which is quite a lot um i i think in general these ruined items are going to be really really difficult to try and build as a first item yes it has a bit of a buff um you know it, it does have some more benefits you know more physical vamp is quite nice uh more percent damage to tanky champions which is also pretty nice uh you can also see the drain passive has also been been buffed so hitting the champion with three attacks or abilities deal the same amount of damage but now you steal 40 percent movement speed instead of 25 percent which is huge by the way so you're stealing a lot more movement speed now you're stealing like an extra what is that in general i don't even know how much extra percentage that is and i'm not talking about the extra 15 percent because it's technically not 15 percent but it's like an extra i can't do maths um it's like an extra 50 percent like you're you're basically increasing the the uh the movement speed that you still by like 50 percent roughly um which is really really nice but again you're losing 60 to 150 so one way i actually wanted to take a look at this item which i'll be doing this with some items as well um is like someone like Callista, for example who i actually have obviously because i'm on the pbe and i accidentally did the wrong thing um one thing i want to do is i want to reset my level so first items in wild rift like you're normally i would say level six level seven like this is normally when you're when you're buying your first item most of the time so my base health at the moment with Callista is 1125 so if i buy blade of the ruin king i'm losing what am i gonna lose like probably 60 hp so now i'm down to yeah now i'm down to 1065 so that's actually yeah that's actually 60 hp that's basically 60 hp so you're losing 60 hp in the early game or buying this as a first item now i don't know how this scales i don't know how this 60 to 150 actually scales you know what? we can give this a test now does it maybe depend on when you buy this item i wonder and i don't want to buy other thingy items what if i buy other items and then i buy blade the Rune king is it based on maybe when you buy the item like how much it oh no because i'm getting more hp from the items now okay hold on hold on hold on let me try and work this out. Let me try and get items that don't give me HP because that is not going to help me at all. I wonder if it's based on... No, so it's still the same. So it has to be based on level then. So it's based on level. So the later you buy Blade of Ruin King now in the game, the more health you're going to lose. So I, th I still think it's probably going to be first item worthy, in my opinion. You know, I think champions like Callista still want to buy this as a first item. Um... Like I said, I just didn't know how this reducing your base health worked because it just says 60 to 150, but it doesn't tell you how it actually works. But it's not based on when you buy it. It's based on the uh, the level that you are. Obviously, I'm only level 7, so I'm not losing that much HP. But if you buy this when you're level 15, you're going to be losing 150 HP. Um, yeah, basically. Yeah, that's Blade of the Rune King. That's one of the shadow items. Um, what do we think, chat? We think it's still going to be good do we think it's, you know what do we think do we think it's still going to be first item worthy because if i think of blade of ring king champions at the moment i'm thinking of vane who already has very low hp in the first place so like champions like vane want to build this as a first item master yi probably wants to build this as a first item as well um Callista wants to build this as a first item the new champion um i mean if you want to play on hit varus you could play varus um yasuo sometimes build blade of Rune king i know tank yasuo builds blade of Rune king sometimes not all the time it's normally like wit send into divine sundra tank i think most of the time um i have mixed opinions i think the benefits that you're getting for this item you have to remember this item only costs three thousand gold now instead of three thousand two hundred so it's two thousand less gold we're getting two percent more physical vamp we're dealing more damage to tanks and we're also still leading 40 percent movement speeds so we're getting three benefits for one downside which is losing base health so i have to say viego true i completely forgot about viego it's a yeah viego is another champion that wants to build this item viego is a really really good shout yone as well twitch yes you can if you want to go on hit twitch there's a lot of ones trendamir as well i i think this will be really hard so the big question i had to myself was 
is this going to be build on bruisers in the top lane because if you think like sometimes build uh bruisers want to build this in the baron lane so camille Jax, um i can't think of any more off the top of my head but that's the two that i can think of irelia as well i don't know if losing base health on them champions is going to be good like renekton yeah i i think it's going to be very difficult for them champions to bull blade rune king now to be honest with you because i think when you're more of a tank or a bruiser you kind of don't really want to lose hp fiora sometimes can build it if you're versus a tank sometimes sometimes not um i'm not too sure about that one but yeah there you go there's blade the rune king i still think it's probably going to be first item for vayne and Callista. the thing is adc is losing hp doesn't actually mean that much it doesn't matter if you have 150 more hp or 150 less hp you're still gonna get one shot by karzix kane on whatever everything like that so anyway you're still gonna get one shot either way so i still think this is gonna be like pretty pretty good um i will i will show you terminus as well don't worry i will show you the new item right next item infinity edge another new shadow item as you can see again gets reduced by 200 gold so now instead of 3400 it's now going to only cost 3200 now we still get the same stats again 55 attack damage 25 percent crit rate but we <laughs> this is a big this is a big one by the way reduces your base health by 120 to 180 so if you compare this to blade rune king you only lost 60 to 150 infinity edge is 120 to 180 health which is a lot of hp but you do get a decent amount of increase in crit damage you get a 10 percent increase in crit damage so instead of dealing 205 percent you do 225 percent instead so it's kind of back to how infinity edge was before it got nerfed to before adc's got changed um so you're dealing 10 percent more crit damage basically or you're gonna be it's it's not yeah, it's, it, you're basically dealing 10% more crit damage, but you're losing HP. Again, the, the thing is, right, you're only going to be building this on ADCs most of the time. As an ADC, do you really want to lose 120 to 180 HP? Do you really want to lose that much HP? That is the question. Like, it's... Yeah, I, I'm not too sure. I still think the, item, I think the item might be pretty good, to be fair. Because you're gaining a... Not 10%, it's 20%. No, it's 20%. That's how percentages works. You don't say that the crit damage is going from 205 to 225%. You say it's a 20% increased damage. It's not It's not 20%, it's 10%. 10% of 205 is 20 or 20, which is what it is. It's a 10% increase, not 25, 20%. Because if you're increasing 205% by 20%, you're increasing it by 40%. That's, that's how mass works. So it's actually yeah it's actually that it's not uh 20 percent um yeah it, it's not 20 percent chat don't don't i i did maths at school for like a, a time anyway whatever it doesn't matter about maths anyway you're increasing your damage anyway so you're you're losing base health but you're increasing damage now i i don't think this will be like first item worthy i mean i think losing 120 health first item is pretty bad but i'm thinking of like all right the thing is right you're gonna lose 120 to 180 base health right if you build bloodthirst the first item which is by far the strongest adc item at the moment by the way if you build bloodthirst the first item you have physical vamp you have a lot more physical vamp you have a lot more attack damage and attack speed you're also most likely going to run legend bloodline you're also going to have gluttonous grease so your standard adc build is going to look something like this you're going to have gluttonous grease and you're going to have bt first item that's not going to change so you're still going to have a lot of healing in your kit. You know, Bloodthirst, the first item, and then Gluttonous Grief. So that's already a lot of physical damage. The question is, is it worth being a second item? So, you know, second item, ADCs are probably level 11, I would say. Correct me if I'm wrong. ADCs are probably level 11. So my base health at the moment is 157. And if I buy Infinity Edge, it goes down to 1,400, 100, what I lose. 70 89 100 i lost 100 wait so how does this oh wait i've got to change the scene sorry i, I went from 100 and uh, 1557 to i don't know how the fuck this shit works then why am i losing only 100 hp this might be bugged i have a feeling like this is bugged so i have wait how much hp do i have 
2000, 2056. I lost a hundred and... Oh, I lost 180. Yeah, it's right. It is right. So it is based on level. Yeah, minus 180 it is based on level. But anyway, you're going to be at level 11 anyway. So it actually seems like the first few levels for Infinity Edge, you don't actually... It doesn't actually get reduced by that much because you're at level... You're at level 11 as your second item, right? If you're level 11, right? I go from, what did I say, 157, or 1,557, sorry. 1,557 to 1,430, so that's 70, 89, 100, 110. Oh, I'm losing 120. Yeah, okay, that works out roughly right. So you're losing 120 HP if you buy this as a second item. But I like, this is, this is the thing, right? It's like, I think it's an AD carry. I'm going to get one shot anyway. So I would rather deal more damage and try and kill the enemy before it ki before they kill me and get that extra 20% 20, 20 down or 10% for the extra 20% in numbers damage. So you're going from 205% to 225%. So yeah. Also, the base health goes by 100. It is like 120 to 180. So when does this start going up? This is base health by 120 to 180. Uh, 180. So at level 11, it's still 120. So when does it start increasing? So maybe it's not per level. Maybe it's maybe it's 120. It's 120 base. Wait, I am so confused right now how this works. What if I try level 12? Hold on, I want to check when shadow items actually start to scale. And you lose more HP. 1676. 1676. I can't do maths. Wait, what? Wait, what? That was. Let's say 167. Wait, how much HP did I just lose? 100 and. It's 120 again. It's still 120 again. Yeah. So when the fuck does it change? Hello? Does anyone know? This is, this is, okay, this is really weird. I have no idea when Infinity Edge, like, goes up to, like, more stuff. I don't know. Higher, I explained you. Wait, what'd you say? 120, 130, 140, 150, 160. So 160 at 15. But yeah, that means that... So at level 14, you're one. So level 14, 13, 12, 11. So that means that level, at level 12, you should lose 130, right? So what, what level am I? I'm level 12. Okay, let's go up to level 13. So if I go up to level 13, my, let's, let's get rid of infinity edge. My HP is 1799. Oh, that's an easy number. So 1799. 1649. So I've lost 100 and. Oh, so that's 150. Wait, what? So I think it goes up by like 20 or something. It goes up like. Okay, I'm I'm confused. Anyway, that's maths. Whatever. Basically, you're losing HP. Okay, I'm I'm done with I'm done with maths. I'm confused. Yeah, it's 150. So it just went from 120 straight up to 150. Which I'm really confused. So I'm not too sure exactly how that works. Anyway. But that's Infinity Edge. I think the extra crit damage is going to be worth it. In my opinion. I, like I said. As an AD carry. You're, you're squishy anyway. You're going to get one shot by a cane. You're going to get one shot by tanks anyway. Who gives a fuck? Just buy the item. Deal 20% more crit damage. Or 10% more crit damage. And also. It costs 200 less gold. What like. We're like we're Gucci. Like we're completely fine. We're good. Um, okay, now we can talk about the new item. But if I click on the right thing. Terminus. New ADC item. Well, technically ADC item. Bit of an on-hit item. Um, this item is incredibly good on Callista, on Vayne, on Ash, on on-hit Varus. Even though it's not really a thing in Wild Rift, but it is a thing and it's quite good. Um, Master Yi can also use this pretty well. Um at times but again master Yi is just a useless champion anyway um 
overall it's just a really good item on champions that have a lot of high attack speeds um you can see here 40 attack damage 30 attack speed which is quite nice kindred could also use this very well good point good shout um as you can see attack still 35 bonus magic damage on hit so every single time you auto attack you'll get magic damage which is quite nice uh, and then you alternate between light and light and dark on hits when attacking so light attacks grant you armor and magic resist for a few seconds and then dark attack grants you armor pen and the magic pen for a few seconds twitch is also another good option and then each on hit effect can stack up to five times which i believe is not in pc league i think in pc league you can't stack this um item up to five times so i'm not really too sure but a great way to to kind of look at this item is playing callista which i'm glad i'm actually playing callista at the moment uh, so i can actually show you what the item does so you'll see at the bottom when i auto attack you can see here this is the terminus increasing light and armor and magic pen then you have also another one so that you see i have three stacks at the same two stacks at the same time if i stack this up okay it's a bug it stacks up to three times not five times this is five times stacks up to five times that's a bug so so this item only stacks up to three times as you can see every single time that you auto attack it refreshes so you're getting armor pen and also armor magic resist stacked up to three times which I think is really, really good. So you're getting one to two armor magic pens. So you're getting like six armor magic pen and you're also getting 12 armor pen. So 12 armor pen plus you're getting between three to six armor and magic resists. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I I know I know the PC stacks three times, but it says here that it stacks five times, but that might just be a misprint. It is PBE, so it is all to do with testing. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think Terminus, really, really good item. It's quite damn expensive, though. Like, it costs 3,200 gold. It now costs the same amount of gold as, like, Infinity Edge, for example. And it also gives you, I mean, compare it to Blade of the Ruin King... It gives you 40 more attack damage and only 5 less attack speed. And I actually think the passive for Terminus is a lot better than Blade of King, in my opinion. So I think... Oh, build path? Sorry. There, there's a build path. My mistake. Also, an incredibly good build path, by the way. BF Sword into uh, Recurve Bow. Like, it, incredibly good build path. Like, this is a, a really, really nice build path as well. I really, 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 like, really, really like this. Like, so you're going to be on... 2009 oh, you know what the crazy thing about this item as well is that bf sword costs 1500 recurve bow costs 1400 that's 2900 so all you need is an extra 300 gold on top of your components to get terminus online to buy terminus so honestly i think this might be first item worthy on some champions i can see this being like first item on like callista ash vein i can see this being a really really good first item on some champions like really really good um yeah i think it's really really good akshan could also use this pretty well um but the ads but yeah don't worry i see the ads don't worry i won't say anything yeah kais is also good as well kais is also pretty good i i'm not too sure about it being first item or second item because now you have to decide whether you want terminus as a first item or you want blade Rune king as a first item i think that's the decision that you need to make on champions like kaisa um well i mean kaisa you don't really build blade Rune king first item anyway but uh champions like vein callista like on hit champions like you need to decide now whether you want blade Rune king as a first item or terminus as a first item yeah, I mean, Blade of Rune King being 200 less gold is also pretty big. But the thing is, the components of Blade of Rune King are pretty meh. I mean, it's okay. It's not bad. Like, you're sitting on 2,600 gold. Like, you're sitting on a decent amount of gold. Like, it's, it's not that bad. It's pretty decent. It's a pretty decent item. Will the item be good on Z Zeri? Um, no, I don't think on hit really works with Zeri. To be fair, um, I don't. I don't think Terminus will be good on on Zeri. I think Zeri really benefits too much from the the on hit. Like I said, I think it'll be champions like Master Yi, um, Callista, Vayne. Um, 
trying to think of like other on hit champions ash akshan maybe akshan could be pretty good um yeah i haven't showed the runes yet i will show the runes either today or another day depending on how long these things take basically anyway moving on to the next shadow item Sterex Gauge. This is an interesting one. I think this is probably one of the strongest ones in my opinion. Because the downside of Sterex Gauge is basically nothing. Like, five movement speed is nothing at all. Like, it is minimal. Like, very, very minimal. It's not that... Yeah, it's not that much. is minimal it is minimal but yeah you still get the 400 maximum health you only lose five movement speed that's it yeah 50 percent tenacity it's um yeah 50 percent tenacity is pretty crazy but it's only for four seconds so anyway going through the item 400 maximum health um a gold wise it still costs the same amount of gold this time you're still getting the heavy handed passive so 50 percent of your base attack damage is being converted into bonus attack damage which i think is still fine so the lifeline passive so damage okay someone needs to like kind of someone needs to kind of <laughs> i i feel like this wording is very weird and i don't really understand it but i also don't really remember how steric gauge works exactly because it says damage that puts you under 35 percent health preemptively grants a shield that absorbs damage but in the game at the moment it just says Damage that puts you under 35% health grants you a shield. So now if there's... I, I think the change is that if there is damage that puts you below 35% health, some of that damage that puts you under 35% health will get hit by the shield. Because preemptively means it's going to be before you go down to 35% health. I think. Because I think at the moment... Now correct me if I'm wrong... I think at the moment, Sterex Gauge, when you go below 35% health, you get the shields. And then it's damage after you go below 35% health. That's when you get the that's when you get the shield, and that's when you get the thing. Yeah, okay, Tatsu knows. Tatsu's a brown main domain. Yeah. So now I think this is a lot better that you actually get the shield before you go below 35% health. So that damage that puts you below 35% health is gonna be sucked by some of the shield which I think is really, really good. Um, I think that's the wording that's changed, and I think that's how it all works. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, Prenti Grants you absorbs, absorbs you damage. It's a 75% bonus and decays over five seconds. Exactly the same thing. Then, then you read the Sterox Fury passive, and you're like, what the hell is going on? Look at the Sterox, Sterox Fury, pa Fury passive. Triggering lifeline. So when you trigger, when you go below 35% health, you increase in size, which is, in, which is the same, empowers you which i have no fucking idea what that means by the way removes all crowd control effects on you except envor uh, airborne and also grants you 50 percent tenacity what the hell is this like this item is 100 worth buying like you are losing five percent movement speed or five movement speed sorry five base movement speed which is basically nothing for a better shield a insane amount of triggering lifeline passive from the Sterex Fury passive, like, which is absolutely insane. I do not know what empowers you means, though. Like, it must be something. Like, I don't know what empowers. I mean, we can try and test it. Let me remove everything. Let me go up to max level on Callista. And let me just buy Sterex Gauge. Let me see if we can... Let's see if we can figure out what this is. Like, what the extra... um, What the extra stats are. You're also losing tenacity, tenacity duration. Yeah, but I think that's I think that's okay. Because to be fair, the tenacity duration was kind of long in the first place. Okay, let me go below um 35% health. So if I look at I, I think it powers you will be will mean more damage. So I have 162 AD. Okay, let's look. I have 162 AD. Let's see if that changes. Okay, cleanses. What's my attack damage? It's still 162. Okay. What else can it be then? Okay, now I'm confused. 
what else can it be because it increases your size you can see here increase your size like it does a bunch of stuff i have no idea what empowers you means then that's definitely very strange we must attend to other matters. just logged in is this legit english pb yeah you can buy uh you can buy sterics and put wing shield to see if you get the five percent movement speed back Wait, what do you mean wing shield tatsu I don't think the power means anything. Yeah, I mean, it might just be text. I think someone said already in chat that it might just be text, which it might be true. It might just be text. They might just be tripping with us. That might be what it is. Oh, wind moon play. Oh, okay. But yeah, um, but yeah, I, I mean, as Wit said at the bottom, you're losing 50, so you're gaining more tenacity, but it's for a less amount of time. So it's cut the duration in half from eight seconds down to four seconds. But I think the big thing is that it cleanses crowd control straight away. You get more tenacity, 50%. So if you're in the middle of a team fight, you want more tenacity for a shorter amount of time. You don't really care about less tenacity for a longer amount of time, because as long as you escape that crowd control and you get away, you don't need that extra duration. So I think in my opinion, the extra tenacity for a short amount of time is a lot better in my opinion um yeah that's basically it so like okay let's look at the let's look at the movement speed so the movement speed oh my movement speed wait how, where do you check movement speed by the way can you check it here oh four five nine my movement speed is four five nine well, i'll show you uh yeah there four five nine right at the bottom and it should go down to four five three yep wait That's six, but okay. Wait, was it six or what if was it five? Okay, it's it's six instead of five for some reason, which is a bit weird. But then what if we add another movement speed item, which is this, right? Five percent movement speeds. So let's compare the difference. So if we buy winged moon plate now, it gives us four hundred and sixty six. Okay, it gives us four hundred and sixty six with sterex then without sterex so it still gets increased so you can still increase your movement speeds then without sterex it gives you where's wing moon play 472 there's not a lot of difference in it honestly reducing your movement speed by five i think is worth it I think this item's still going to be good on bruises and and that. I still think this item's going to be insane. Yeah, I know it's five flat versus five percent. I know, I know. But I was just comparing the difference to see what it's like. But I I personally think this item's very good. I think this item is going to be incredible. Um, I think this item's going to be really good. I think it's going to be a lot more powerful. I think the shield change is really nice. I think the tenacity change is really nice. And you losing five. The thing is, right, if you lose five movement speed, you get movement speed anyway from Trinity Force. You get it from uh, Black Cleaver. You get it from, you get so much movement speed from other items that this five movement speed doesn't mean anything. Anyway, before we get into magic and defense, there is one item being removed. I wonder if you spotted it, chat. Have you spotted what item is being, has been removed from this patch? Have you spotted? Can you spot what item has been removed? I know some of you probably know what it, actually is i know what item has been removed but yes you you guessed it hole breaker has been removed hole breaker is gone hole breaker is gone completely it's removed it's gone dust blade is stopped there don't worry um yeah no more hole breaker in the game i this is a bit of a scary change in my opinion i mean i think the re honestly i think the reason why they're doing this is just to stop this whole like split push I uh, like toxic sort of thing because I mean the scion strat doesn't really work anymore I think some people still do it but it's not that good anymore but some people are still trying to do that same strat but it's just not working as well however I do think this is a bad thing for the game because I think hold breaker just brought a different style to the game because if you ignore the things like the scion split pushing it is scion split pushing if you ignore the inting strategy Holebreaker gave you an opportunity to play the game different as a Baron laner. You can split push in side lane, you can go, you can actually play towards your strengths, which is split pushing, you know, champions like Jax, Camille, 
Fiora, you know, love this item because they win the 1v1 in the side lane and they also can split push throughout the game. Without hole breaker now, you're not going to be able to split push as much. And I don't think split pushing will be a thing. I think split pushing might be dead completely. I do not think split pushing will be a thing anymore, which basically means we're going to go back to 5v5 team fights of Drakes. We're just going to go back to where we kind of started and there's going to be no more there's no thinking behind it now right there's no thinking in terms of you know going into a side lane using hole breaker and, and things like that um yeah i mean yes demolish is still a thing i'm not saying like it okay maybe it's not dead completely maybe it's not dead completely maybe you can still split push but this is a big hit to split pushing like this is a big hit to champions that want to split push a big thing for for any sort of champion that wants to like split push in the side lane because you not getting them bonus stats now means that yeah it's kind of difficult but also at the same time it means that you can pick other champions now in the baron lane like akali um basically champions that don't build hole breaker and you could defend now in the side lane so there's some benefits to removing hole breaker and there's also some negative side of things in my opinion to removing hole breaker but yeah hole breaker removed gone next patch you won't be able to build it right anyway I'm yapping too much, but I want to talk about everything in this. Okay, magic items are next. You can see all the magic items there. I'll give you a brief look of what radiant items and what uh, other items we have. First item we're going to look at is Horizon Focus. This basically got the PC League treatment. We now have PC League Horizon Focus, which I think is 20 times better. It's such a better item now. It's not even close. Like, this item is incredible. So, we lose fi uh, we lose 150 max health. I mean, the item does cost a lot more gold, don't get me wrong. 300 more gold is quite a lot more gold. We're losing the 150 max health, which is, I think, okay. I don't think you need the 150 max health, to be honest with you. We gain 10 ability. This item, by the way, has 90 ability power. 90. 9 zero, 90 ability power, which... I think is like one of the highest ability powers amounts now, except for death cap. Nope, 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 nope. I think it has the highest. One of the highest, because Infinity Orb also has 90 ability power. So, okay, a little teaser, a little thing ahead. But Horizon Focus, 90 ability power. Infinity Orb, 90 ability power. Death cap, also 90 ability power, which I'll talk about a little bit later on. Um... All these items have 90 ability power now. Um, I think every single build is just going to be Horizon Focus, Infinity Orb, Rabbit on Death Cap. I, I think that's basically what it's going to be. Okay, so what have they changed with Horizon Focus? So like I said, 90 ability power, you still get the same percent magic pen and you still get 20, uh, you get more ability haste as well. There you go, 20 ability haste instead of uh, 15. But Hyper Shot has changed. Now... Hypershop has Hypershop has changed completely. So this champ this item is now not good on champions that want to crowd control. This item is not very good anymore on champions like um I don't know what are champions like Nautilus. Nautilus is a great example. This item is not good on Nautilus anymore because you can see before you had to apply one mark on an enemy champion by even damaging them from 500 units away or by immobilizing them. They've completely removed the immobilizing effect. You cannot deal more extra damage if you're immobilizing. So you you can't do anything. You can't immobilize and get stacks. Even Syndra, I don't know if this is going to be as good. I need to test it because 600 units, you can see it's gone from 500 units to now 600 units. So you now need to be further away to proc horizon focus. But I think the passive damage is now a lot better because you don't need to gain stacks. You don't need to gain three stacks. And then, like, you basically deal more damage. Now, you just hit an enemy champion with an ability once, just once, and then you increase your damage by 12% for six seconds. Like, what the hell? Like, you just land one ability. For example, Zoe and Lux, I think this is going to be an incredible one. Lux especially. You land your light binding on Lux. Your third ability and your ultimate is going to deal 12% more damage. Yeah, it's kind of fucking crazy, in my opinion. Um, 
I'm guessing this is going to be like adaptive damage. So it can be reduced by like magic pen or, or anything like that. Uh, by magic resist, sorry. I don't think it's going to be like that much, to be fair. Um, but now you also have a new passive, Focus, which when Hypershot is triggered, or Hypershot, sorry, is triggered. So when you hit a champion from 600 units away, you reveal all enemy champions within 1,200 units. Goodbye, Evelyn. See you later. No more Evelyn going around. No more, like, anything like that. Nothing. Like, no more Evelyn trying to sneak around on you. And also, this only has a 15-second cooldown. Now, this item was is really good on um, Zeraf, which if Leia's still in chat, then she will know that this item is really, really good on Zeraf. Um, but unfortunately, Zeraf is still not in Wild Rift yet. Um, <laughs> but I still think it's going to be good on other champions anyway. Now, like I said, I haven't tested these items. So I need to change champion, and I want to test these items as well uh, at the same time to see like what the item is going to be like and what the actual range is. So if we do um oh god what are we doing fog of war so we need fog of war on um so we need to do let's do i do not want to do that we need to do uh do, 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 change champion to lux let's go on lux so lux is probably one of the best champions also if you don't know what 600 units is it's the same as ash's auto attack range which is probably like a bit longer than this it's a bit longer than this i would say uh, right, Lux with Horizon Focus. Uh, where are we? Horizon Focus. Right, let's give this a test. Let's go into mid lane. Let's get the um, the target dummy, and we'll get we'll get things going. And we'll we'll see how much it reveals in terms of the area. This item should be illegal. Yeah, I mean it's it's really disgusting on mages. I think this will be good on Ori, Lux. I mean, to be fair, I don't know if Ori's charm is going to be enough. Right. Let's see. 600 units is probably the probably the range of Lux Q. So if we do this, it didn't reveal. Wait, it didn't proc or it did proc? Wait, it did proc. Hey, where's my hey? Where's my revealing? Where's my revealing by 1,200 units? Hey, when the hyper shop is triggered, reveal all enemy champions within. Okay, it doesn't do an effect like PC League. I thought it would do an effect like PC League, but I guess it wait. So what if I put a I don't have a target dummy in here. Does it reveal this target dummy? I thought it would have a, an effect like PC League. Oh, it does. There we go. Okay. I just needed another target dummy. That's all I needed. There you go. So you use this ability. And it I mean, it has quite a long cooldown. I have to wait for the cooldown, of course. But now it reveals champions. So you can now see if your jungle is nearby or their jungle is nearby. Which is pretty, pretty cool. So you have to have enemies nearby for the thing to trigger. I do this. Boom. It reveals everyone around. Kind of like PC League. You can smile, you can be the light. I mean, 15 seconds is not a long cooldown, in my opinion. Yeah, it's pretty insane. All right, now what I want to test is how much extra damage I'm going to be dealing with this item. So my third ability with Lux deals... Um, wait, I don't want total damage. 120... Wait, what? Hold on a second. Oh, 225. So this does 225 damage. So what if I do Q and then E? Wait, did it go from 225 to 269 damage? Oh, do I have Scorch or something? Oh, oh wait, do I have a, do I have a rune? Oh, I might, oh, I have a rune that fucks it up. Oh shit. Oh, I have a rune that's fucking up with my numbers. Whoops. I mean, anyway, like this did, Oh, it's 228. You just saw it there. It was 228. So 228. So if I do this, wait for Scorch to proc, and then do this. From... You're telling me this increases Lux's first ability from 228 to 269. That's like an extra 40 damage. What? Bear in mind that these dummies have like armor magic, like armor magic resist as well. That's a lot of extra damage. That is a lot of extra damage. Okay, well, this item's pretty strong. I yeah, I think this item would be pretty strong on some champions. Um, what are some other champions that could be good? I think Ari, can, Ari will be an interesting one as well. Ari will definitely be an interesting one. I do want to see if Ari's charm is within range of... Um, I want to see if Ari's charm is within range. So you can actually proc um, Horizon Focus. 
you probably have to go like how close can you go i wonder if you can still proc it here Wait, th th that's pretty close. How was that? You really close? Wait, hold on a second. Okay, that's too close. So what about like right here? That's also too close. Okay, I mean I, you still have to stand a bit far away. It's like three quarters. It's like so. About three quarters of Lux's E. Yeah, look there you go. That's about the range. So it's about three quarters of Ari's E. So Ari, this could be really good on as well. Because you could just go boom, boom, boom. And your W and your Q is going to do more damage. No, it's not max charm range. It's like three quarters. It's three quarters charm range. It's like here. You can see. I'm trying to find like what the best. What the best way is to show you. But it's like here. So you can see here. That's the full length. So max, max range is here, right? You need to stand about here, about three quarters. Boom, there you go. And you go, okay, a little bit more than that. Like here. Yeah, there you go. A little bit more than three quarters. Anyway. That is that. There you go, Horizon Focus. Um, like I said, I think this item's going to be really good. Um, Lux, Ari. Oh, a Radiant Soul was the other one I wanted to test. Okay, <laughs> this item might be... Uh, extremely broken on Aurelian Soul. I think this I think this item is going to be the most broken item on Aurelian Soul. Because um, yeah, my Q range is not that lot like is imagine if it works with Q range. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Imagine if this works with Aurelian Soul Q range. <laughs> hold, hold on a second. Let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. Hold on. Enemy dummy. Okay. Does it work? It, it fucking works. It works. Max Q range. It Okay, this shit is going to be so broken on Aurelian Soul. <laughs> what the hell? You just channel your Q and you're dealing 12% increased damage every single time with your Q. Because there's no limit. Like, it's not... There's nothing. For an extra six seconds after you deal damage, you're dealing 12% more damage. I, like I said, I think this item is going to be one of the strongest items in the game. It's going to be... There's probably some other champions as well. Brand, it could put, it can probably work. Twitch chat, you can probably think of other items. Yeah, this item it will be insanely strong. Anyway, I need to move on because I don't want to make the YouTube video like three hours long, but I think it will be three hours long at this rate because I'm also testing items. But yeah, anyway, to sum it up, Horizon Focus, gonna cost more gold now. Um, it's get, Yes, it's an extra 300 gold, but it's 100% worth it. I think it's really, really good. We need more bands. Yeah, we do. Again, I think Aurelian Soul is going to be completely busted. <laughs> you think this item's busted? Wait until you see Infinity Orb. Wait until you see Infinity Orb, chat. You think this item's busted? <laughs> okay. Right, they're cooking. I don't know what the fuck they're cooking, but they're cooking. Right, next item. Infinity Orb. Five more ability power. Same movement speed, same magic pen. But hey, let's give 20% bonus crit damage when enemies are below 45% health. When enemies are half HP, basically half HP, you're dealing 20% more... You're dealing 20% more crit damage. 45%! That's a lot of HP! That's a lot of HP! Like, again, this item costs 300 more gold again. Again, these items are going to be more expensive, but they're just so much more powerful now. Like, Horizon Focus, insane. Infinity Orb, insane. Like, these two items are going to be absolutely disgusting so so disgusting like my god orb with coop yeah i mean orb with coop will be insane yeah evelyn i mean i i don't even have to say the champions you know you all know the champions off the top of your head that this is going to be extremely powerful on yeah evelyn like evelyn already watched it. is chief still in here hello chief hello this this evelyn abuser chief is going to be happy about this item because chief loves evelyn and evelyn you could basically one shot any champion now because you crit when you're below when they're below 45 percent health i yeah chief is happy all evelyn maves are happy yeah akali diana echo as well like yeah <laughs> he was gonna be so bad then you know what the scary thing okay you know what the funny thing is about this patch is that champions were that were already good are just going to be stronger, right? <laughs> like, that's all it is. Like, Horizon Focus makes Lux stronger. She was already strong. Infinity Orb makes Evelyn strong. She was already strong. Like, it's just making the stronger champion stronger. It's like that, um, 
like the thing where they say like rich people just get richer it's kind of the same thing with league where like broken champions just become even more broken but yeah i mean yeah every single ap champion will build this for sure i mean yes every, i mean every single ap champion but i'm talking about like the champions that will benefit the, um with this the most like ap assassins fizz as well is another good one fizz is also going to benefit from this a lot yeah as i mentioned 300 more golds yes you do get um a bit more ability power now i don't think the item oh the item components actually changed i only just realized you can now build another amplifying tome wait th this is different to live servers right i think it's only uh a wisp and this or am i wrong can you do you have to build an extra amplifying tome on on live server i'm not too sure i think this might be new that you can build another amplifying tome now which i'm not too sure if they changed it for horizon focus either i didn't actually look at that i didn't actually look to see if the item build paths have changed i mean even going back to physical items i don't think they've changed this hasn't changed this hasn't changed this hasn't changed and this hasn't changed maybe this has changed i think this has changed a bit i think they've added an extra um an extra ring of revelation to this i think they've added an extra ring of revelation to rise and focus and an extra amp tome to infinity orb which actually is a lot better like them adding more items means you don't have to wait as much gold to actually complete the item um haunted guys is oh, oh wait horizon focus is phoenix codex and haunting guys oh so that's phoenix codex plus blasting ones that's yeah, actually better components as well i would say these are better components hog but yes anyway sum it up infinity orb busted my voice is going to go by the end of the stream by the way i'm going to be talking so much in the stream stream shouldn't be laggy i'm not dropping frames or anything stream should not be lagging at all if it's lagging try and refresh it's not lagging at all my internet is completely fine today luckily yeah infinity orb this item is going to be like disgusting i think this item is going to be insane okay are you ready for death cap chat are you ready for death cap death caps getting some interesting changes very very interesting changes okay you ready ruined death cap is now also um not too nicely large rods anymore it's now nicely large rod plus a blasting wand which is a better component i guess actually it's not really better because then you're sitting on more gold anyway ruined death cap we lose pen ability power we still have the same magic pen we lose 50 to 80 hp now which is not a lot which is the lowest out of all of them but our ability power is now increased from 25 up to 55 percent 55 percent at max level with rabadon's death cap you get 55 percent increased ability power it's crazy like this i mean yeah it's to be honest in the last patch before this item was main was named ruined item it was it was never a first item like you would never build this as a first item because they changed the scaling now that now it's even more of a late game item like you want to build this as like i would say third or fourth item which was the case anyway before this patch but now it's even more the case because you get less less base ability power but now you get up to 55 percent 55 percent is crazy if you think right okay <laughs> this could be fun to look a Redian soul okay with a Redian soul if we go all the way up to level 15 i'm gonna i'm gonna look at this this might be scary and i might actually shit myself with how much extra ability power so say for example we're building death cap third item third item you're probably level i would say probably level 13 right at three items you're probably level 13 maybe a bit lower but it's fine Okay, so if, with Ready and Soul, if you go Horizon Focus, Infinity Orb, right? This already gives us 640 ability power. Okay, are we, are we ready? Right, okay, remember this number, chat. 640. Type in chat. Actually, no, I'm going to type in chat. 640, okay? 640. Two. <laughs> There's no fucking way it got increased by 500 ability <laughs> i have three items i have 
three items. You got, oh, do I have Gathering Storm? Oh, do I? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I have Gathering Storm. Okay, maybe it's not that much. Okay, wait. I need a champion that doesn't have Gathering Storm. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, it's still probably going to be a lot though. Wait, it's Aria of Gathering Storm in normal build? Okay, nothing that increases, right? Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, I, I freaked out for a second there. That was kind of scary. Wait, I just realized this, this game has gone on for 60 minutes. That's probably why. Okay, no, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, no, 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 no. hold on, hold on, hold on. That might be wrong. That might be wrong. I'm doing it again. Okay, okay, okay. False alarm, false alarm, false alarm. I freaked out for a second. False alarm. Okay, we go again, chat. We go again. Level 13, we go again. Okay, give myself a little bit more gold. Okay, we go again. Horizon Focus, Infinity Orb. Okay, let's look again. Okay, 180 ability power. Okay, maybe it's not that much. Okay, ignore what just happened. Ignore what just happened because I had Gathering Storm. Okay, anyway, from 100, 180 up to... Okay, I, I probably should have, add boots as well because we're going to have boots. Yeah, so 200, 235. Okay, 235. Then, plus death cap. We go up to... 490. That's still a fucking lot. That's still, that's still like 250. That's still 250 ability power. I mean, it's not as much as what it was before, but that's because I had Gathering Storm. But you basically, yes, you're over doubling your ability power with one item. You are over doubling. And this is only at three items. Like, say, for example, you build, I don't know, you can build like two more AP items, right? You can build, I don't know what else you can build with Ari, to be honest. Like, you can just go... Um, I mean, Ludens is probably going to still be a thing somehow. I don't know how you fit Ludens in this build. But you can just go Trident plus Morello. And let's go up to level 15. We over doubled our ability power chat. Over doubled. Okay, what if we do this? Level 15, four items. Level 15, four items. We're at 390 ability power. 390 ability power. So four items, max level. Now, if we buy Death Cap. We go up to 744. Oh my god. This is gonna be disgusting. It, this is this is gonna be disgusting. From 390 to I I can't quick mass, but could someone can quick mass real quick. Let me just bring up my calculator. 740, 744 minus 390. 354 ability power. 354 ability power. Okay, ignore the 1,000 ability power from the Aurelian Soul. That was only because I had Gathering Storm and we've been streaming for one hour. Uh, <laughs> Death Cap's going to be fun. Yay. I mean, yes, I definitely want to trade 80 HP. 80 HP is nothing. You lose 80 HP to gain double your ability power. You are gaining double ability power. Like... <laughs> Like I said, even at three items, this is good. Like, it doesn't matter if it's three items or, like, you build this as third item or you build this as the last item. This item will be insane as third item. Like, third item, it got increased by, um... Like, third item, it got increased by double, right? From 235... Like, this is definitely third item worthy. 235 to 504. Two, like, 235 to 504. That's, like, over double. You over double your ability power if you're buying this as a third item you are oh you're over doubling your ability power if you buy death cap as a third I third item next patch like i said do not build this as a first item you'll get shit value like complete shit value you will not you actually lose ability power if you buy this as a first item it will be first item worthy now i mean uh third item worthy now it might even be good second item honestly it might be good second item uh, this is PB, so there is no patch notes. This is PB, so there is no patch notes. What about second item? Do we think second item it might be good? Honestly, I think Ari's build will be this. Will just be Ludens, Horizon Focus, Death Cap, Infinity Orb, and then whatever last one you want to build. This will be Ari's build. For sure. This will be Ari's build. Because I still think you want to go Ludens first item, I would say. I would say third or fourth, yeah. I think third or fourth. You do not want to build Death Cap first item. You never want to build Death Cap first item. Okay. 
Chat, we're not even done yet. We're nowhere near done. You think right are cooking? <laughs> They're not done cooking just yet. Okay, next item. I <laughs> I can't believe I freaked out at a thousand ability power, even though I had gathering storm on. That's fine. We have to make sure the runes don't affect us next time. Okay, next item. Harmonic Echo. By the way, again, they are just making strong items stronger. This is probably the best support item right now in the current meta. In the current meta, this is by far the best support item. Sona, um, Soraka, even like Lulu, Nami. It, this is by far the strongest item. And they're just making this item even stronger. Again, no, it's going to cost more gold. So Harmonic Echo has gone from 2,700 up to 3,000. So they added again, I think, an extra... Um, uh, and I, actually, no, I don't think the components changed. Because I think these were the components with Harmonic Echo before. Um, <laughs> you wait, chat. You wait. 300 more gold. We start 75 ability power, 300 maximum mana, 10 ability haste. That hasn't changed. Look at this Harmonic Echo passive now. So moving and casting abilities build up Harmony. That's fine. At 100 Harmony, your next healing ability that you cast on an ally restores health equal to 135 it has more base healing it still scales with the same ability power but now it's going to be to the target that you heal and up to three nearby ally champions you can now get harmonic echo healing which is broken by the way on three near champions imagine this on sonar just just have a think for a second i want you all to just sit there whatever you're doing if you're sitting down if you're laying down just think you're buying this on sonar you already have AoE healing, which is really difficult to deal with. Deal with. You're now going to have even more AoE healing <laughs> with it. Like, okay. Oh, is it always already? Wait, is it already like that? Am I trolling? Oh yeah, it's already like that. I'm trolling. It's the extra stuff for that. Yeah, I'm. I'm trolling. Okay, I'm trolling. Whatever. That's what made it strong before. Yeah, I'm trolling. Sorry, my bad. It's the extra thing at the end. I'm trolling. The base healing got increased by ability haste. I'm trolling. Okay, look, chat. I'm getting carried away. Okay, chat, shut up. Shut up, chat, okay? I forgot. That's how it is on live and it's already broken. What? Well, that's the reason why it's broken on live, right? That's the reason why it's broken on live. So you get more base healing, but now your healing is increased by every 10 ability haste by 1%. Basically. So every 10 ability haste that you get, you now get 1% more healing. And also the basic healing got increased. Yeah, I, I kind of trolled. Okay, ignore what I just said. I kind of trolled. I still think this item will be first item worthy on supports. I still think this item will be incredibly good on supports. Because if you think about it... Hmm, I'm trying to think how you could work this out. Yeah, little oopsies. Yeah, we don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. I still think it's going to be good, right? Because if you do... If you do Sona... Uh, where's Sona? I mean, this item will still be the best on Sona. Nothing has really changed with that. So say, for example, with Sona, right? So we're building... Um, so I kind of want to like quickly mass this real quick. As you know, we probably don't want to be level 15. Let's quickly mass this. Say, for example, we're level 11 and we have two items. It will probably be level 11 that we have two items. I would say level 11, we're about two items. So we get this. We get our boots. We get Harmonic Echo. Uh, what the fuck's Harmonic Echo? Harmonic Echo and we also get Leandri um, Archangels. So now... Harmonic Echo, every 10 ability haste, you have 1% increased healing. So you get 1% from Harmonic Echo, and Archangel, you get 20%. But you can also upgrade this into this, which also gives you 20%. So we have 3% more healing, plus also our healing scales with ability power. So there's also that as well at the same time. I, okay, this mass is going to be too hard, I think. 70, uh, 100, 110... 10% of 110 is 11. So we're getting about 100 and 145 base. Um, plus an extra... So 100, 145 base plus 3%, which is... 
Mm, an extra what four healing or something oh maybe it's not good hmm that's true actually you can actually go cdr boots that's a good that's a good point actually if you go cdr boots instead of boots of mana you get 30 ability haste which is going to increase your healing now wait i never actually thought of that that's actually a good point that's actually a really really good point because now if you buy CDR boots, you're increasing your healing of Harmon and Kekko by 3%. But then you're getting less ability powers anyway. But the thing is, then you're getting less ability power. Also, I didn't work out the ability power well. I should actually do the ability power by looking at stats and not this. 181. So I get 18 more, basically. Let's just say I get 20 more ability power, right? 20 more ability power, so it's 100, 155. And then we have like 30 ability haste, so 3%. 3% of 155 is like uh, not a lot. Like 5, maybe. You're maybe increasing your feeling by 5. Maybe it's not. Okay. Okay, maybe I overacted a little bit. Maybe it's not that good. Maybe it's not worth it. It might be pretty good if you have a lot of ability haste. I mean, the thing is, is like... I, I don't think... you. I mean, you're going to be building ability, like, ability haste anyway, but you're not going to be able to get ability haste early because you don't have a lot of gold. So actually, it's not even that good of a buff. I mean, quote-unquote buff. Because this item now costs 300 gold more as well. So it costs 300 more gold for you to get basically a little bit more healing. Basically. I mean, you, you're, like your full build with Sonar is Archangel Staff, Harmonic Echo. Um, then you go like Staff of the Flowing Water. And then probably like a defensive item like Crown of Shadow Queen. Uh, where the fuck's crown? So that's 20, 40, 60, 70. So that's 70 ability haste. Oh, also, I forgot. Also, I forgot. You can now actually go ancient coin now as well because ancient coin also gives you ability haste. If you fully upgrade ancient coin, that will also increase your ability haste by 15. That's also a good benefit. Actually, you can get quite a lot of ability haste. So that's 15... So 20, 20, 40, 60, 70, 85. I have 85. So I'm increasing my healing of Harmonic Echo late game by 8%. That's not bad. Increasing Harmonic Echo by 8% is not that bad. Plus, you have to remember that you're getting your ability power, which is 332. So 10% of that is 30. So you'll get like 160, 160 healing with Harmonic Echo. Plus 8% of 100, 160, which is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Like, you're probably getting like an extra 11 to 12 healing, I would say. I mean, yeah, that's true. I mean, if you get four items, so another game is GG already. I still think this item be really good. Personally, I think this item be really good. What's up, Exerson? Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Please try your overall healing. Wait, what do you mean? Like the... Oh, just use your spells? I mean, it won't really... It doesn't show, right? Like, it won't show. I don't think it shows unless they're actually taking damage, no? Um, I don't know how it works on dummies. Like it doesn't the numbers don't show they have to take damage oh you mean ally on top you really want me to do that chat okay fine i will do that i mean like you can check you can check like i mean it's take a while i mean yeah it's not it's not dying yeah you, you it doesn't it doesn't work as you can see, it doesn't work. Yeah. I don't want to quit the game. 
It doesn't work, chat. It's too hard to test it. It's too hard to test it. You have to test it like in the actual game, basically. Anyway, harmonic echo. Yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, it's uh, it's it costs a lot more money, but I think it's okay. Right, next item, rift maker. Rift maker, light. Rift maker buffed. Again, a, a, a strong item that's going to be even stronger. Same health, 150 health. Uh, 10 more ability power now. So you have, um, again, another amplifying tome that you have to build from. Um, 90 ability power instead of 80 ability power. It costs 100 more gold as well. Same magic pen, same ability haste. Again, the passive has changed though. I think it's a buff to the passive. Personally, I would say. So you still get the 12% omnivamp. Uh, when in combat with champions, you gain one stack of corruption every one second, which is the exact same. But now each stack increases your damage by 2.5% instead of 3%, but it now stacks up to four times instead of three times. So now it takes you a longer amount of time to reach maximum stacks and reach the true damage. But when you do reach that true damage, you're going to be doing a lot more true damage, basically. That's basically what it is. So I think it's a nerf to like quick burst with rift maker and not fully stacking rift maker if you're in fights for longer then yeah it's pretty insane yeah i mean it's it's a lot more it's a it's a one percent increase it is a lot more and also you have to remember that one percent increase is also going to turn into true damage and you also get 10 ability power for 100 gold so i would say it's 100 percent worth it i mean you you can't even think like you already know champions are going to be good with this like gwen when it's really good with this obviously again you need to stay in combat for an extra second so instead of staying in combat for three seconds to get the true damage you need to stay in combat for four seconds to get the true damage but when you stay in combat for four seconds then you're going to be getting a lot more like true damage you're going to be getting a lot more tr true damage overall a lot more damage overall is that combat yeah you have to be in combat you have to be when in combat with a champion. So when you're in combat with a champion, when you're like dealing damage or taking damage, you have to be in combat for four seconds. Because one stack equals one second. So before it was three seconds, now it's four seconds. But now your percentage goes up instead of it being... Again, you don't get that much stacks on one stack, for example. Like at one second, you don't get that much. At two seconds, you get the exact same. No, you get less as well. At three stacks, you get less. And at four stacks, you get more. So at one, two, three stacks, you get less, but then at four stacks, you get more. So again, it's if you can stay in combat long enough and get to that point of getting up to full stacks with Rift Maker, it's really, really strong. But before that, you're not as strong. So it's a bit of a trade-off. But again, you get 90 ability power instead of 80 ability power. And I think the item is still good. It would be fine on Vex. I think these other items are just way too strong on Vex. Horizon Focus, way too good on Vex. Infinity Orb, way too good on Vex. Death Cap, way too good on Vex. Like you, I don't think you have room to build Rift Maker on Vex. Because like Rift, uh, um, Vex with all these new, other new Radiant items like Horizon Focus and Infinity Orb, like I don't think you'll have time to build Rift Maker to be honest with you. Um, Yeah, interesting change. Uh, again, it only costs 100 more gold. You're getting 10 more ability power as well. The build path is a little bit more flexible because you have another amplifying tone that you can also build. Um, yeah, that's that. And then that's it. That's all That's all it for AP items. Uh, AP items are done. Uh, no other changes. Oh, there are a few other changes to AP items that I nearly forgot about. Uh, they're changing Blasting Wand. Uh, so Blasting Wand now... Um, it's still the same amount of gold, but you get five less ability power from Blasting Wand. That's why some of the build paths have changed so they're making some of the tier two items or the mid tier items a little bit weaker now so you don't get as much ability power from just these tier two items so blasting wand a bit of a nerf five ability power and also they did the same with needlessly large rod as well so needlessly large rod same ability power but now you only get 60 ability power instead of 65 so mages are not going to be as strong now with these tier two items again it's not that much but this is a big thing with death cap right so death cap is a very high risk high reward item now because with death cap before you could build two needlessly large rods and you were still sitting <clears throat> you were still sitting on a lot of ability power now with death cap 
you need to build an easy large rod and a blasting wand which by the way is only 2400 gold so you're going to be sitting on that 1000 gold with less ability power now so like like lazy large rod only gives 60 so you're losing five ability power there blasting rod also now only gives 40 so you're losing 10 ability power on your components with death cap and also you're waiting 1000 golds to complete death cap yeah kind of crazy no they changed it no oh yeah yeah it's kind of weird I, I i think it's just because the ability power gets increased marathon but yeah I, it, death cap's gonna be risky it's gonna be very very risky to take because you're gonna be sitting on a lot of dead gold that's not gonna be used at all basically um yes i reviewed terminus already yeah i can go back to it at the end um anyway magic items done now onto tank items only a few items in the tank items and now we're moving on to tank items uh, again a few items here again the, the other items that i'm not going across have not changed at all nothing has changed and i've checked and i've checked everything twin guards amaranth's twin guards so again shadow items you get benefits and also a downsides um so you get 60 armor 60 magic resist which is still the same now you are going to lose 5 to 10 attack damage which i think kind of kills this item on bruisers i don't think you want to lose 5 to 10 attack damage on bruisers it might not seem like a lot but i think in the long run it's quite a bit like 5 to 10 attack damage losing is quite bad in my opinion like i said i don't think you want to build this now on like camille wukong sometimes you can build it if you're like last item you can build amaranth's twin god and you can just get some defensive stats which are quite nice um but again there's a plus side to this item because it's a shadow item so the endurance passive you gain one stack of endurance every one second which is the exact same so to get to maximum stacks now with twin god you only need three stacks so you only need to gain a stack of endurance or be in combat for three seconds instead of five seconds which is a lot better in my opinion so you can get their maximum stacks a lot better and then at maximum stacks you gain 20 percent uh, uh, size increase 20 percent tenacity increase armor by 35 percent increase magic resist by 30 percent 35 percent until out of combat so the downside is that you're losing ad attack damage like you're losing five to ten attack damage which in my opinion is not worth it for champions like wukong or whatever however for tanks this is incredible like this is an incredibly strong item for tanks now you only need to be in combat for three seconds you gain 20 percent size 20 percent tenacity and you also gain an increase of armor and magic resist by like 10 percent basically you're increasing your armor by 10 percent because it's going from 30 up to 35 percent and the same with magic resist as well like this is an incredibly strong item for any sort of champions that want to go tank really yeah i mean perfect for alistar perfect for any tank basically any tank that doesn't want to auto attack a lot i think champions like thresh might not like this because thresh still auto attacks a lot but if you think of champions like alistar that doesn't really do a lot of attack damage anyway like you're all, you're just a tank it's just it's just absolutely insane a kali tank yeah good one i mean yeah twin god plus steric's gauge as well yeah i mean if you think about it steric's gauge which we talked about earlier gives you 50 percent tenacity Twin God gives you another 20% tenacity. Pretty insane. So, see, this is, again, I do not think this is good on any bruisers like Scion. I think even Scion. I would rather have the extra 5 or 10 attack damage than having this increased bonus. In my opinion. That's just my opinion. I don't know if anyone has a different opinion. I would much rather still have the 5 or 10 AD. Because, again, it's not just the auto attacks. It's the extra damage from your abilities and everything else in between so you're losing five to ten attack damage but then you're just going to get a lot beefier much quicker maybe as a last item yes but you have to remember scion is also losing hole breaker that's also another downside is that scion is also losing hole breaker which is a big thing um yeah like i said i think on tanks this is going to be absolutely incredible um i think on bruisers not so much because you're losing the attack damage but it might still be pretty decent overall pretty good uh, in terms of item cost it's the same amount as well so warmogs warmogs is the next one uh they're nerfing warmogs quite a bit but they're also giving it a bit of a buff as well um warmogs at the moment is still i mean 
not so much but not so much now but still can be a first item for most supports most most supports just build this as the first item you build us the first item you get relic shield you get the passive now you're not going to be able to do that and by the way this you're losing even more attack damage you're losing 10 to 15 attack damage again this costs the exact exact same amount the stats are exactly exactly the same 700 maximum health 200 percent health regen 10 ability power but look at the passive now if you have at least 1150 bonus health now so you now need to build an extra ruby crystal if you want to build this as a first item to get the warmogs heart passive so i think this item is now dead in my opinion for first item rush on support because you're not going to be able to get that bonus straight away i mean yes you could just buy an extra ruby crystal maybe dead is the wrong word like it's probably still okay for first items on support but you're not going to be able to get the bonus health from warmogs plus relic shield you need to get an extra something else yeah, I mean, if you have your boots as well, then it will be enough, right? Because you have 700 from uh, Warmogs. You'll have like 150 from from boots. Um, so that's already, what, 950? Uh, and then if you fully upgrade Relic Shield, I'm actually, no, it might not even be enough. I'm actually not too sure. But upgrade Relic Shield is 100, extra 175. What's that? Uh, 1,050, 1,000. 000... Actually, no, it's not enough. Wait, it's not enough. I actually don't think that's enough, is it? Wait, hold on a second. Calculator. Calculator. 700 plus 175 plus... What do I say for boots? Plus 150. Uh, plus 150. No, you're not. You're actually still outside. You're actually still outside the range. Because you need 1,150 and you only get 1,025. So you need an extra 125 health, even with boots as well on top of that so you need to buy an extra ruby crystal on top of that as well so if you buy boots so if your build is this if your build is uh bu -bu 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 say you build relic shield say you completely stack relic shield right you've completely stacked relic shield happy days you're happy you go warmogs and you go um i mean it doesn't matter what defensive ones you get right they both give oh, i mean Mercury Treads gives an extra 100 health, but that doesn't really matter. This is not going to give you enough health. 170 plus, uh, 175 plus 700 plus 150 is 100, 1,025. But now War Mogs, you need 1,150. So yeah. I mean, Overgrowth won't even give you that much either. Overgrowth won't give you that much. I'm pretty sure Overgrowth will never give you that much at all. Again, I think Overgrowth, you have to wait for some time. Like... It's an extra 150 HP that you need. Or 100 and, sorry, 125 HP that you need. Whereas like Overgrowth is like, wait, let me swap champion and see if I can show you. Because Overgrowth, you still have to wait for some time, right? PC has Overgrowth, thank God. Yeah, two minions or one monster. You're only, yeah, you're only increasing your max health by three. <laughs> you're only good, at, like, it's only good as a three item, basically. It wasn't good as rush item anymore anyway, so it's the same. I mean... I think it was still okay as a rush item. I still, I mean, I agree it's probably not as strong as what it was before because things like Zeke's got buffed by a lot and I think Zeke's Convergence is now one of the best uh, rush support items to go right now, especially on tank supports. Um, but yeah, anyway, you, so yeah. Basically, first item Warmogs, it wasn't already good in the first place, like before, but now it's just completely dead. You can't rush this as a first item anymore on supports however however oh dawn dawn shroud dawn shroud is an item by the way dawn shroud is a pretty incredible item i mean again costs 300 more gold you can kind of see the running theme here dawn shroud 250 maximum health 50 armor 30 match resist if you are within 400 units of an enemy champion and you immobilize the champion or you are immobilized, you reveal all nearby enemies for three seconds. You deal the same amount of damage. However, you also heal yourself now for the same amount of damage every three seconds. Every time you hit Thresh Hook, every time you hit Thresh Flay, every single time you do Alistar combo, every single time you knock up with Rakan, any sort of crowd control at all, you are going to heal the same amount that you deal damage with Dawn Shroud. 
and also again this scales with bonus health that you're going to be dealing like not you think it's not worth it i think it's pretty worth it because you think every three seconds every single time you crowd control nautilus auto attack for example every single time you nautilus auto attack you're healing every single time and that healing is going to be increased because if you go dawn shroud i think the support item could be something like um wait let me give myself uh, more more gold if you go like relic shield which gives you hp then if you go like a uh, plate still counts which is pretty good you can go dawn shroud into war mogs for example and my base hp is 2150 which what is it five percent five percent of 2150 is 105 roughly 110 plus the 80 so that's 190 let's say 200 so you're dealing 200 damage as magic damage so every three seconds you're dealing 200 magic damage you're also healing 200 as well at the same time okay maybe it's not 200 maybe 200 is a bit high wait no i said 2000 no no 10 percent. oh yeah sorry 10 percent is 200 but five percent is 100 yeah it's like 120 sorry my bad it's 120 so 120 plus the um 80 is basically 200 so 200 damage every three seconds plus you're healing yourself by 200 every three seconds on champions like nautilus the ccs all the time etc etc yeah i mean you could go i mean also it could be a case of you still go zeke's because zeke's is very cheap and still very good i still think zeke's is very good it's probably maybe like zeke's warmogs into dawn shroud or it might be zeke's dawn shroud into warmogs even so with zeke's as well like you're gonna get a lot of health 2500 which is basically 175 no 125 sorry so you're basically like kind of full builds you're dealing you're dealing a lot of extra damage with dawn shroud but plus you're also like you're also getting it as well don't just theor theor theorize test please i mean i don't know how i can really test these items it's kind it's kind of difficult because i don't have anyone here to test with i mean i can I guess I could put an enemy dummy and tank some damage. Uh, where's Nautilus? Nautilus is probably the best champion. Uh, let me level up a little bit. So say, for example, we're on... Uh, oh, actually, no. It's probably... Probably level 13, I guess. Also, what is this cooldown thing around my flash? Oh, is it Hex Flash? Okay, I guess it's Hex Flash. Kind of weird. Uh, give myself a bit more gold. Okay, so support item is pro support build is going to probably be Relic Shields plus um, what I say? Plus Zeke's plus Thorn Trail plus One Mox. Oh yeah, plus your boots. Also, yeah, they didn't nerf Hex Flash. Hope you know that. Didn't know if Hex Flash. I mean, probably wait. You could probably build it on someone like Orn. It will probably be good. Um, okay, let me just put a dummy here. Let me just take a bit of take a bit of damage. Wait, that was over time. I healed like fifty three over time. Why was that over time? Oh, it's not healing straight away. It's for... Wait, what? Hold on a second. I'm confused. It looks like it's over time, not straight away. Yeah, I got plus 53 HP over time. You have Warmogs? Oh, I don't think it's Warmogs, though. It's not Warmogs giving me the extra HP. I don't think. Or maybe it is Warmogs, actually. No, the Warmox doesn't Warmox doesn't come up with a number. Oh wait. Holy shit. That's a lot of healing. Warmox only comes up with a with a number, like straight away. Oh, wait, do I have the No I don't. So 53, 53, 53. So it's basically over time. Yeah, it's not Warmox. Warmox heals you afterwards. 
But still, you could do this every like three seconds. I can even stand in turret range and I can still do this, right? I do this like 53, 53, 53, right? I do this 53, 53, 53. I auto attack. Oh, I can't auto attack, but yeah. You get the idea. Every three seconds you're healing, every three seconds you're dealing damage. I don't know if it's over five seconds or three seconds. I think it just says the healing is for five seconds. It just says four, five seconds. Oh, it is three seconds. It's three seconds. See, it's it's the top part. So it says a champion, uh, a champion, or you are immobilized. Reveal all nearby enemies for three seconds. You deal damage and also you heal yourself. So it's for three seconds. So that's why it does the healing over time. So every three seconds, you're getting a bit of healing, basically. It's not Warmogs. It's not the Warmogs healing uh, passive. It's not that. I can stand in I can stand in tower range and I won't be healing 53. That 53 is not that. Also, I just realized I have the new map. I have the new uh, Runation map. That's kind of cool. I just realized that the Nexus is uh, Runation. Yeah, it's not. It's not the. It's not that. Also, yes, you're affected by anti heal. Yeah, maybe this item's built a little bit later on. Yeah, I mean, maybe this item's built a little bit later on. Yeah. That is pretty much it. That is all the new items. That's all the new item changes. Um, nothing else has changed. Boots have stayed the same. Boots upgrades have stayed the same. Everything else has stayed the same. Um, nothing else has changed. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything anything else. Any new mage items? Nope, no new mage items. Just the radiant items and shadow items that I've already gone over. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Dawn Shroud's going to be first item. I still think it'll be like Zeke's into Warmogs. And then you build Dawn Shroud later on when you have more HP so you can scale more. I still think it'll be the same as what it is now. Zeke's, Warmogs, plus one. For supports. Yeah. That's everything. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.